Hi, this is a reading for you. It is not attached to a zodiac sign nor timeline. The intention is if you come across this reading, it should benefit you in some way. That being said, if it resonates, feel free to like and subscribe, and there will always be an extended version available on my Patreon, which is the first link in the description below. I do take personal readings, which you can access through my website, which is also in the description below. Now, there may be some anxiety. You also might have trouble sleeping, but ultimately what I see is there's very much a healing of a situation as a whole. I think that this is in your relationships as well as your practical or financial matters. This is someone sort of stepping up to the plate. This is maybe slow moving. I don't necessarily think that that's in your control though. I feel like maybe you have to be a bit, mm, I don't know. I feel like there's maybe circumstances that hold you back a little bit, but it certainly isn't standing in your way. And as you walk away from the devil, meaning vices that have controlled you, situations that have controlled you. Um, and it's, you know, very similar to the Nine of Wands, which is above you in a lot of ways, because this is sort of, you know, the devil talks about obsession or sort of being driven crazy by your passions, even. You have something that is revealed to you that is becoming clear, particularly in your emotional state and in terms of wisdom gained. You're able to push forward wisely. I think that you also may be taking on a very massive commitment in the near future. Maybe you're aware of it, maybe you aren't. You know, it can be in the context of a relationship because we have the Knight of Cups with the Hierophant and the Empress talking about maybe a marriage is born, a relationship is born. But I also kind of see it as an initiation process or stepping into a new realm of thought. And, you know, <clears throat> conserving your energy a bit, really prioritizing. Now, the outside influence may be feeling a bit guarded or discouraged. You're also maybe blocking off certain people or ignoring certain things. But also, I feel like a lot sort of falls on your shoulders. There, there seems to be the note of waiting for a new beginning in some way. And through this whole process, I think that your anxiety will subside because it's as if the Wheel of Fortune brings conditions of faith, of, of fate that restore your faith. You may encounter a situation that brings up some anxiety. And frankly, I would say ignore it. Um, yeah, that's more, more of a side note. <laughs> Your advice is to sort of bask in this success, bask in these changes, bask in the thought of justice, and you know, let that death of the old chapter happen. Clarify this. Yeah, especially if you're leaving behind groups of people or certain kinds of people or, you know, maybe even just overspending or overindulging. Um, you have the sun and the two of cups in your outcome. So I do think that there is a partnership that is relevant. And, you know, this seems like stepping into a very successful time for yourself. And, you know, don't spoil it by worry. What can you expect?
success over, you know, what is it? Thou preparest the table before me in the presence of thine enemies. Success in the presence of thine enemies. Um, <clears throat> you can expect, basically, the more attention that you put on something, the more it's going to grow. This does suggest a level of victory. Um, and you might even have some luck come in from the past. That doesn't mean like an ex coming back or something. It, it, I mean, it could, I guess, but it, it more so to me seems that you might have sort of um, past allies come in and assist you in some way. And you might be putting the end, an end to a certain idea or a direction. You, I feel like you're making some changes in your life that will significantly impact you that doesn't mean that it's all going to come with just the easiness of a breeze there may be some level of um you know effort to put into this obviously but anything worthwhile there always is and i feel like you have a very intuitive sense of how to move through something so i think basically if you trust yourself If you trust yourself, you will find success. You will also find success in traditions. Now that could be a relationship commitment. This also could be very much a spiritual path. Like I said, I kind of get the impression of initiation or, or learning a spiritual path in some way. It could also talk about gaining a platform because the Hierophant has like a following basically. People come from all over to hear the Hierophant speak let your passions carry you. Trust yourself, trust in this process, and basically start to thrive. So I'm going to take this a bit further on my Patreon. If you want to join us for the extended, again, that is the first link in the description below. That helps out, helps support the channel greatly. Um, also, feel free to like and subscribe, and have a great day.